What is going on guys? Yes, I look rough. I spent the night out at my buddy's lake house and I slept in my car. It was like 27 degrees, so I didn't sleep that great. Also, it's a Sunday, but I just wanted to talk about something. Pulse Chain Ecosystem Green, once again, if you tuned into the last live show and my Twitter, all for free, I've been telling you Pulse Chain is going to be the contrarian plane. Focusing on this video on PulseX. What do I have to say about PulseX? I've been posting charts, breakout levels. Right now, you could be up a good sum from my free products, from what I offer and do for free. But the private group has a little more insight to what we're doing, so I wanted to bring that a little bit to you. Pulsex has already burned 539 billion tokens, or 2.62% of the total circulating supply. This is not just a burn, this is a buyback and burn. It is built into the codes. So the more transactions, the more trading volume, the more utility and utilization of the Pulsex exchange, the more buybacks than burns of PLSX occur already. Five point or 539 billion tokens just in the past six months. This is the main utility. Even if it had nothing else, this thing would drive price much higher. But we already know more products, developments, launches are coming for Pulsex in the future. And we also know that once the SEC loses its uh, battle against Richard Hart, this thing will do a double up immediately upon that news. But let's take a look at the chart here. This is what I've been sharing. This is what I've been looking at. And this is how we have been winning. We'll zoom in here. This is the SEC, the pre valuations before the SEC drop and I've been drawing these lines right here is when I said uh, PulseX is due for a massive breakout I had the little uh, um, rocket emojis here and what happened we had a nice breakout I don't even know what the percentage was up to here 69 percent once we were around these levels I said hey we're making a potential cup and handle we will have a sell-off but then we'll move to new all-time highs I didn't know if the top of the cup would occur at these levels which it did or if it would be higher up on these wicks, it occurred at these levels. We had the perfect Fibonacci handle here, and we are breaking out. So if this sequence continues to play out, the measured move for this pattern here, as you can see, the rounded bottom, that's your cup, here's your handle, here's your breakout level. The measured move would be up here towards 35 to 36. That would be potentially... 72% from current levels. I had this here at 95% because during the live show, I was telling everybody this during our live show if you didn't tune in. So it's already gone up another 20% from the live show. Now, what does this really match up with if this measured move plays out? Well, what do you know? It gets you right back into the reaccumulation range before the SEC news was dropped. So that's probably a fair price. Uh, even before the SEC uh, decision is made just because we are getting more volume uh, more dollars getting bridged over into this ecosystem and the pulse X continues to get burnt so the token itself should go up in price as well so I think even without SEC news we can get back into this range reaccumulate SEC news comes sometimes maybe this month or next month I don't know if the case will be over but I know Richard Hart gets to do his first comments and when that happens you will see a quick double up why did I think that this was gonna play out this way well you had this uh, resistance here this was support, support, support. It gave away. It was flip resistance, 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 resistance. It broke out. It back tested and it green barred. So there we go. Now we flip that resistance into support. Also, if we look here, we had this uptrend line. This was support, 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 support. It broke down. Resistance, resistance, broke out. You got confluence at both of these resistance levels with a big green bar. That tells me we are seeing a reversal. Now I'm looking at some technical analysis stuff. But Nick, we're way overbought on the RSI. That's cool. We can continue to rise until we get that bearish divergence, which we did. That is perfect confluence with a handle for a cup and handle pattern. Let's go. We break out above this 2240 level and we are mooning, mooning up to 35, 36 level, even without any SEC news. That is Polsex. My name is Nick Hellman or the Crypto Hitman. Follow me on here on Twitter. Follow me on YouTube for absolutely free. Or if you want daily updates, live action from myself and Todd Butterfield, join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto here to help here to see you grow and here to make everybody a bunch of money peace